Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to start the series of tutorials on Faceplant from Kilohertz. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, on this first video, let's go through the user interface and let's get accustomed to how it works before we go into deeper tutorials. So let's start from the top. On the left hand side, you have the name and the version, Faceplant, in this case, version 2.0.16. Then you have a button where you click and it will allow you to go into the um, browsing here of uh, the uh, presets which are included within face plants and they're really really nice and I'll come back to these in a moment then you have um, up and down arrow to move between presets here you have the uh, icon here to mark as a favorite and uh, you can give a name to a preset that you just initialized the description and also establish with the offer you can save it of course into your uh, um, user uh, bank and then you can create a new one. Click on new and you create a new one. You have undo and redo icons. And then here you have a nice interesting uh, icon. You click press on it and then you can play a nice game. And here you have information about face plant with different links. Moving on below here you have a macro uh, panel. And this allows you to um, configure the dials. Um, to reach other parameters as inside Faceplant, which is really nice. Next, in the middle here on the left hand side, you have generators. You click on here and you select, for example, what the generator could be. It could be analog, noise, sampler, wavetable, etc., etc. So let's try analog. And you can hear straight away, you have this type of analog waveform, um, this sort of, and then we can go, for example, to sign. Can adjust a little bit the attack and a little bit the release why not so and you can continue like that so you can click below again and then you can add others and i will uh, explain that in more details into other tutorials then on the right hand side you have the effect section and uh, here you have three lanes lane one two and three and um, if you click on it, this is where you can add your snappings, which are similar to your plugins. But the beauty of that concept, uh, of that concept is that uh, they work not only inside your dough, but also inside Faceplant, which is really, really nice and really, really straightforward. So, for example, we could put a filter. And uh, there you are, that's a filter. And of course, you can add uh, other um, snappings in other lanes or below the effect that you actually inserted. And again, I will go through in more details in the upcoming tutorials. Then underneath here, you have a section here where you can um, set generic uh, or more general settings for uh, uh, faceplant, you know, like your polyphony, your master page, your band range, etc., etc. Below you have a modulator section. So again, click on it. You can create, for example, an envelope, an LFO, a random, but you can create things like uh, audio follow, follow it. So it's really nice and a lot of other options which I will go through nice and gently. So let's click on LFO, for example, like so, and then click on the plus sign and let's establish that this will control the filter um, uh, here. You can see how nice it is. It shows you also the connection between the LFO and the filter it really works really nicely. And then of course you click here and you just establish the in the amount of influence from of the LFO uh, to the filter cutoff frequency. And then of course you can decide that it will start to move from, z from a lower cutoff frequency. That works wonderfully. And then here you can, for example, increase the frequency. Of course, you can add other LFOs as well or other modulators and you can carry on like that. So it works extremely well. You can even search here, which is really, really nice. Underneath, you have uh, this section here. If you click on this icon, it will reveal, of course, the keyboard, 
which you can use, of course, to play notes if you wish to use it like that. And I click again on the icon to make it disappear and for you have more screen space. Now, let's go back to the browsing of presets. So click on Browse. And starting on the left hand side, here you have your favorite, your user and your factory bank. But you also have additional ones as well, which you can you can choose inside each bank. And then you can choose um, a further um, group. And inside that group, you can actually have presets. <laughs> You can click on one preset to uh, load it and you can double click, of course, to close also the screen and have it loaded inside the uh, face plant. Um, of course, you can go back to the browsing. You can exit also clicking on the X um, up here on the top right hand side. OK, so um, and works wonderfully. And there are so many presets and it sounds absolutely great. The controls are pretty straightforward. They click on some of, uh, on, on the controls like at the dial, click and hold and then move up and down to change uh, the corresponding value. And uh, if you hold down the shift key, of course, you can do fine changes as well, as you would expect in many of the VST plugin available in the market. Okay, hopefully this has given you an introduction on the user interface and um, i see you at the next tutorial where we start to go deeper into the generators thank you very much bye